G'day guys, we're all about the tricks today. So we're going to do a fun little fold action to a sit or even a layback. So I'll bring Kerry into the camera. We're going to do it off a side pass or a travelling return. It could be really done off any move, but we'll keep it simple. The guys going to do male advanced footwork. We love to quote that where we hold or pause. Eight, one, two, three, four. I go five, six, seven and eight, one, two. Or we could go one, two and get that action. It's a lot of fun and I love that the guys turn to enter it. So that is, yeah. that's one of my favorite things when the leaders get to turn. And why I like these type of movements, when the guy does a fold, he sets the door, I keep that extension or opposition. When I bring her up, I just walk out my feet, I leave the hand there so I can step in, put it to my shoulder and the girl has to wait. I leave it there. She doesn't know if it's single, double, triple turn. And then I step in, I make connection. You have to wait. Guys, stay up so she doesn't feel it. Then if I sit, it's really easy. A little fraction rotate to the left to give her that thigh or I lay back. So let's go over that in a little more detail with counts. Yes. All right, seven, eight, one, to return. drop four. But before she finishes, the hand drops, stretch out her elbow, pancake flip the hand. Wait her to flip. Girls. Follows have to be forward over that left foot. Wait till I turn the hand up. I'm just going to step. I may need to travel a little bit forward, but not much. I'm going to step in on the right foot as the girl steps in. I'm going to drop both my hands and rotate in I dream a gene type position and connect. That's going to be a walk, walk. Then I'm going to sit. It's a fraction rotation to me to come back to the girl. I get the drop. I step out of the way with that right foot, left, right, and I'm back on time with my basic modern right time. Out. So let's demo it from the other side. And so we're doing a traveling return. The hand drops on the floor in order to fold. Eight, one, two, three, drop, and four. I hold. She's still away so we have a little bit of tone here now remember we talked about not allowing yourself to go so far your clothesline in some of the other videos that we have leading up to this we take our step five he rotates the hand six which turns us around as he steps in to turn we actually step in as well because we don't want to be reaching out so long we step in so that step. we're closer and it feels like step drop up I walk out Look at that, and I'm back on the correct footwork. Now let's talk so about really the hands basic footwork, around right? the shoulder. So she has, has turned, he stepped in. Notice that my arm is hip to hip. Yeah, is all the way around to where I can press my shoulder down comfortably. If there's a height difference, this isn't going to work because we're going to feel like dead weight, a wet towel hanging off a rack. What I want to do is place my arm in a position where I can press my shoulders down because I don't know what's going to happen here. If it's just going to be a sit, a dip, a layout, a drop, what? And 60% of holding myself is my responsibility. Only 40% is his. So then he'll tell me, okay, we're just going up and down a carousel. He's giving me a thigh, like a lap to sit down in, like a stool. And then <laughs> there's his lap that I'm sitting in. And then he offers the hand and it feeds between us for an inside roll to rock out. Basic footwork out. I do start on the right foot, which is okay to do that because if I do, I can walk it out normal rhythm and be on time right off the bat. So we'll demo it vertically. Eight, one, two, three, down, four, turn, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right. So let's do it from the side of this time. We'll do the, the dip rather right, than the sit. Seven, eight, one, two, three, hold four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. And we'll do it from the other side. Still mm -hmm. doing the dip. Seven, eight, one, two, three, hold four, five, six, seven. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Notice I got a little rotation then. I'm out, I'm in, 
I'm back to basic again. Before we wrap, let's just show the dip from this direction, straight on. Shane has now securely wrapped around my waist, maybe into the hip area, and he is gonna go straight down a carousel, but also twist his body. It's not a lean thing. It's simply twisting the body. And if I go full out and give my head and my arm, it's an optical illusion that more is happening there. But if Shane were to still take- Still this right leg. Still yeah, it's right still my right leg. If Shane were to take his hand away, let's rotate this way. If Shane were to take his hand away, I would be supporting myself. So it's very important yeah. that the leader have good posture and that the follower is really holding 60% of his thoughts. So if I get her for the sit, I, I barely rotate just enough so I can be over both feet. Sometimes you might find you're already there and you can just sit. So barely sit. She goes all the way going down or I rotate and I get that little action that allows her to open up that upper body. Either one is a fabulous yeah. movement and a great position. These are advanced movements because of the mechanics that involve through each phase of the movement to get in position. Take your time, practice just doing the sit, getting in position. Practice being there and opening the body and the girl doesn't even open that shoulder and then eventually she opens. Practice coming out, then practice getting into it because you know the move. Then practice doing it after you get into the move and then you'll find you'll put all the dots together. Practice the sit first.